Bismillahi minnu shaytani r-razim Bismillahi r-Rahmani r-Rahim Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salati wa salam ashrafi mursaleen Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad al-Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Fatiha Allah, Atiya Rasul ulul amri minkum and always a reminder for myself and abduk al-ajisu da'ifu miskeenu zalimu jahal and but for the grace of Allah that keeps us in existence. And if Allah should tire from anyone then we become a thing non-existent. And in this path of ours and in the tajalli of this month this talk of a nuqt, your fight over madhab, your fight over ibadah, your fights over knowledges, your fight over everything. And these only Allah calm because people want to know, do you make this up yourself, these teachings? I said, no, we'll go into the, the words of only Allah, you find it there. You find the realities there, they probably recited a nat or nasheed to exemplify it. It was so important, this was an oral tradition. People would go away singing the haqqaiq, that all that people are struggling for, the only I come to remind, if your life is a not about reaching the nuqt, reaching a state of off reaching a state of effacement, it's the binary code. All our technology is based on this, we have the barakah and blessings of making our life easy based on this. And the reality of La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah wasallam is the ultimate binary code. Because La ilaha illallah is the only thing that exists. And the perfection of that reality as a reflection comes as Muhammadun Rasulullah which is a nuqt, completely servant to the One. So the ultimate binary code is the kalima and everything exists within it. That's why they're saying that everything is in the nuqt. So all that people are debating about, arguing about, endless videos, TikToks and social media about, these only Allah… As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh, this is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. come back in our life is that everything in your life is based on this nuqt. This nuqt is the reality of your first usul of La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah. The first step, Ashhadu an La ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah is you have to bear witness to this binary code that there is no one but Allah no power, no authority, no nothing is on but Allah And the only one whom can teach you that haqqaiq is Muhammadun Rasulullah because everyone else had a bit of on on them, means they didn't reach servanthood. From all the Prophets of Allah they did not reach the perfection of servanthood in which Allah created the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah and that they were all in need of the perfection of Sayyidina Muhammad So means our ultimate binary code is the reality. And they come into our life and teach us that all these arguments and all these debates and all these different concerns that people have 
Are you really drawing near to Allah? They get these ulama and they start debating on videos and one insulting the other one, one raising his voice to the other one and you think that, did you really gain anything in Allah's presence with this? Go to the park, yell at people, go give sobats to insult people, make your touring and your whatever you're doing in dawah to insult and harm people. This not the deen. Instead of thinking that you're a risalat and that you're a prophet of Allah you have to search for servanthood of Allah and that my life is to be a nukht. And if I understood the concept of nukht, I can reach sainthood. If I understood to cut myself off at every opportunity, what Allah grants for you? Sainthood because the nukht is very powerful because the decimal point, right? That your dot zero but if Allah shift you because you're training to be nukh, to be dot zero, dot zero, nothing because the other side then has a presence. You're on the other side, right? Because the one dot zero. Don't go to this side, be on the other side to be nothing. If you're accomplishing nothingness, Allah can flip the switch and make you on. And we described last night the Hadith al-Qudsi. When my servant did their mandatory because they're controlling and crushing themselves and it's only for Allah to determine who's a saint and not a saint, I'm going to become their hearing, I'm going to become their seeing, I'm going to become their breath in which they breathe, I'm going to become the hands in which they touch, the feet in which they move so much so that they are Rabbaniyoon. And they merely, kun fayakun because they're such a nukht, they ask and Allah answers. And this is the spoiled state of awliya. They're spoiled by Allah because what they ask Allah grants. But it wasn't for somebody to be a one to judge people, but the path was supposed to be teaching people be a nukht. If you understand this binary system and our life is to serve the one to be nothing, then Allah if you want to serve me, قُلْ إِنِي كُنْتُمْ تُهِبُّونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِعُونِي Come to the one who really is my nukht. Why? Why the love of Prophet Because not Isa not Sayyidina Nuh not Sayyidina Ibrahim not Sayyidina Musa not Sayyidina Adam None reached the nuqtness of Sayyidina Muhammad and that they were in need to be tested by Sayyidina Muhammad to become a nukht. That's why Sayyidina Ibrahim in Qur'an that, Ya Rabbi I want to reach where these two rivers meet. I want to reach your binary code of La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah Go to one of my servants from Ummat al-Muhammad Why? Because amongst the Prophets they're one, they're ones for their nation. Because they're also they're teaching their nation to be a nukht. But when they're coming into the presence of the, the nukht of Prophet and they want to enter into the, the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah Allah taught all the Prophets, if you ever come into His presence you're under His command. And qalu bala. That if you should ever be in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad his rank is superior. That's why Isra al Miraj, the Prophet brought that ayatul kareem to be true. That go in the presence of all the Prophets of Allah they will give you their shahada. That they negated their oneness, artificial oneness to become a nukht in your presence. 
and as a result they'll pray the Muhammadan prayer behind you, Alif, Ha, Mim, Dal and give tahiyyat and salatu salam to Sayyidina Muhammad So it means all the Prophets were in need to be nothing. So the great Mahi, the one whom crushes everything for the sake of taking them to the oneness of Allah Muhammad, Muhammad is an ocean of power that spins in immense black like a… what they call? Black hole but they don't understand the concept of a black hole. The immensity of Muhammad that anything that comes near it, his reality disintegrates everything. Break it down like the movies, there's like a form and all of a sudden molecule by molecule it'll all be ripped to pieces to make it into khashiyah like a dust. That dust will be thrown into the Divinely Presence. Means the name of Muhammad, Muhammad is the ocean of power that moving, that nothing, nothing that can pass that reality. Now in dunya if you do it, alhamdulillah you accepted and came to the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah If not Allah made the grave to be the annihilation and the nafs and the body will be disintegrated and only at that time they'll understand there is no way to Allah except through this ocean of Muhammad in which everything of you will be disintegrated brought in to be powder and dust. That's why we have Mahya Dhanub, Muhi Al Qulub. For those whom love they know that when they send their presence into the presence of Prophet it crushes everything, all the sins and the badness and ananiya and the one whom thinks himself to be something, he crushes and then revives the heart with the same fire that he's burning the bad character, that same fire illuminates the soul and its reality. Because that which is physical back to physical, that which is spiritual will be energized by that light. So the immensity of our life when you see these people and see social media, say, what are they trying to accomplish? Do you really think with these debates, these arguments, these actions you're going to be a nocht because again like the elevator in life, you know now if you're going up or you're going down. You don't have to read the sharia books to understand that and debate, no this is halal. Look anything you put in your mouth and, <gasps> and you inhale you're going down. Don't need anyone to give you a fatwa on that. Anything you drink that's inappropriate you press the button down. So it means these people whom are playing with their religion. They have a difficult end because they pump themselves up, up, up and then the grave becomes the great disintegrator. That's why we say azab al qabr. Why? Because everyone becomes a nothing in the grave. This is the reality of the grave. The one whom understood that left heedlessness, say, Ya Rabbi I don't want problems there. That's okay, then follow them and take the path of the nukht. And then when we taught that, that our path is the path of the nukht. To be a nukht in the way of Allah to be a nukht in the way of Sayyidina Muhammad only by taking the path of a nukht can sainthood be achieved, righteousness can be achieved good character can be achieved because these are the qualities of the nukht. All these nukhs they're under the ba. Because why, why the, the ba shows us? Because it's the alif lying down. Because in the presence of the alif only alif stands. And the taught to us in the huruf 
The daba is the symbol of the alif incomplete sujood, incomplete down, not even sujood where the back is up. But it's flat, the ba is flat and what it has is the nuqt under it. So it means they took a life in which to be nothing. And all those whom are trying to reach this reality of futuwa, because this is the way of Islamic chivalry, to be nothing, nothing has power. When you try to be something, build yourself like a buffalo, you have nothing. Old age you get sick from the steroids you take. The power is with Allah in the path to that reality. All those nuqs will be trained by the reality of that nuq, Imam Ali salam. Because this is the way of futuwa, la fata ila Ali. This is the responsibility that Allah gave, teach them to be a nuqt. Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq, a different reality, teach them to be truthful in their character and in their deeds. And we taught that, Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq as comes and teaches, be a Siddiq. Not that you don't tell lies because everybody tells lies but be truthful to your love. Don't, don't uh, dishonour your love to Prophet be a truthful servant of love that don't let your love to become dishonourable and a disgrace and say, no I don't tell lies but th that was the greatest lie. That's why awliya come and say, don't break people's hearts. Why? Because the contract of love is within that heart, be truthful to it, stand by it and honour it. And that was the character, they were willing to live and die to keep that love covenant with Prophet that never to let anything happen with that love. So Imam Ali then represents this what they call the people of the Bab because the Ba is a gateway into the city of knowledges. All of Qur'an is in Surah Fatiha, 30 juz. All 30 juz in Surah Fatiha. One whom has the secret of Surah Fatiha has the entire secret of Holy Qur'an. In, in every breath they breathe is the secret of Holy Qur'an in their heart, their wujud in their soul. All that secret is in Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. That's why he said the most powerful expression in last days, if Allah opens the key as they say merely, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, they, anni they annihilate every shaitan in their presence. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, they move. In seclusions they saw it, Allah trained them. Every time they say, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, like a fire everything around them dies, everything, nothing will stand in that. But all those whom their souls are good, they feel energized for that power. And all the shaitans they disintegrate and burn from that power. Why? Because it has the entire power of Holy Qur'an. All of that Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem is in the ba. And that's why Prophet described, I am the city of knowledge, I am all of Qur'an. And Ali, Babahum. That his responsibility is the, one of the responsibility, not the only responsibility, one responsibility is the gatekeeper of that door. And which to what? He was given a tool of the nuqt. What was the tool of the nuqt? The kalima, right? Because we said that was the nuqt, La ilaha illallah, one. Muhammadun Rasulullah sallam the nuqt. So the power and the reality of the nuqt is in the lam alif. And that's why the zulfiqar, la sayfun illa zulfiqar. There is no sword that can take your head but this kalima. Means 
You will never lose your egoistic mind by any other sword. You study this, you study that, you study whatever you want. If you didn't understand the power of La ilaha illallah is the only power and Muhammadun Rasulullah is the nukht and the only one whom can destroy the ego and bring you to the reality. That's why he gave the, the gatekeeper of that reality, here's your sword so that people can see what you manifest. Because it couldn't be spiritual because Allah we show our signs on the horizon and within themselves. But if everybody thought, oh he only has a spiritual sword they wouldn't believe it. What Imam Ali is known for is that physical zulfiqar. So much so that till today everyone has the zulfiqar everywhere. All the tariqahs used to have the symbol of the zulfiqar because it's La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah. This has nothing to do with Shia. This has to do with the haqqaiq and the realities of Imam Ali Salam for the people of the nuqt who stand guard at that reality to teach them. You want to come to this bab? And that's why these awliyas were singing, oh, all your argument on your madhab, all oh, your scratching on your forehead on your, uh, your head on your forehead and making marks and signs for people to be astonished by you. Do you really think this stuff is working? No, because you're not drawing anywhere near to that nuqt and that, that phase of nothingness. And that's why the servants of that reality, they go around and serve and carry and help people, try to encourage people to reach to their realities. Not to harm and, dis and dishonor people but a nuqt is not trying to be a one for people, not trying to force people to say, you have to accept I am the one and I'm going to push and impose that oneness on you. These nuqts you feel they're one of the ones but they can never say they're the one. Only their khuluq and their character gives you the impression they must be representing the oneness of Sayyidina Muhammad The one who calls himself the one is not the one. The one whom imposes himself as the one is not the one because their characters were nukht. The nukht helps people. The nuqt serves people, the nuqt enlightens people. So this characteristic is the people of the bab that come teach them, take their head off. Why are you thinking so much from your head? Why are you analyzing everything? Why are you trying to come through this reality? It's never going to happen through your head. Close your eyes, connect your heart. And then begin to efface and negate the self, negate the self. If we're in a school of nuqt, so become heavenly university of nuqtism. Right? No more debate what your madhab, you're doing this wrong, you're doing that wrong. Look, are you more nuqt than me? Then alhamdulillah for you. That's all it is, the competition is in nuqtness, that sounds right or not. Not in oneness, you one, you're one, okay you're the special one, you're the big one, you're small one, you're still tall one. But how much of a nuqt you are? And then they would compete, Mawlana Shaykh Sultan al Awliya, Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Haqqani would say, we competed in being nuqt and I'm nuqt to the 124,000th point, zero, 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 zero. I'm more humble than all of my humble, other humble nuqs. So they competed on being nuqt. So when no mind people would see them, they said, look, he kissed the hand of that man and that man he says his face is on the moon and Shaykh Nazim kissed my hand. No, because this one is so powerful, he kissed your hand because he's competing to be nothing. 
And he said, I'm 124,000 dot 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 nukht, I'm all the way here. But if you anger me and Allah give to me, He moves this decimal like this and all 124,000 awliya under my feet. Then they said, so you control this earth, he said, this earth is the smallest maqam, this we give to other people, there's not, this not our realm. Means what could be understood of sainthood is not understood, not even capable of explaining it because all the artificial ones will come after you for even talking like that. But the greatness of Allah is in this path of nukht. So we've enrolled, willing and unwilling, into a school of dot and our competition is to be a dot. So like the elevator, are you going up or down? Don't lie to me about you know your fatwas and what you think of sharia, you're either going up or down. Then the example of the chair, so every time you have bad character in your home and with your friends and, and relatives and family member. Who's on your chair right now? Is it your devil, is it your nafs or is it your soul? If you're very humble nukht, that's the soul, not saying anything, being quiet. If you're outspoken, it's your nafs. If you're angry and aggressive and violent, it's your devil. So you can't play with those examples. You can't say, no, this is allowed in sharia. What are you talking about is allowed in sharia? That's why these nuts are teaching people. Some people say, no, I'm like uh, Umar Farooq, I can be very aggressive with people. I say, stuff, don't mention these companions, you don't even know their reality. You're nothing like any character like that. They achieved supreme nukht, they supreme nothing in the presence of Prophet As a result Allah addressed them with fire from Jahannam to burn people. This is not the character and nafs of people. So then they simplify our religion. There's no debates, no madhabs, no none of these things. Just are you on a path to being a nukht? And in our home we become very simple now. Am I nukht or one? I want to post something, am I a nukht or one? Am I trying to do this and give this advice to somebody, am I a nukht or one? And then when we talked about it in the home then oh the nukhs became angry. It's a path to sainthood. So the men, they were supposed to be with their shaykh. Why? Because they're all ones, like a walnut, very hard. Their heart and heads are like walnuts, hard. Because Allah gave them a hard shell to deal with dunya. So they accompany the shaykh, they learn from the shaykh, they learn the realities in the process and as a result of the tajalli, the teachings and the atmosphere, they learn how to be a nukht, a dot. They learn how and they are in the process of learning how to efface, 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 just like the whole reality. If they become a nukht to the shaykh, then they become a one wherever they are. Because the nukht, wherever it goes, it has the hidden reality of one from Allah's presence, right? Because they have the hadith. So when the one comes into the home, he has the dress of one because he is representing Allah he's representing Sayyidina Muhammad as a result he's to be treated as a one, respected, admired, all of the, the faculties of the reality of Prophet If he truly took a path to be a nukht and he's following the teachings, he's true to those teachings, Allah gives his, this is a one in your home, he's the imam in the home. And that's why Allah puts such an importance on the believing families and the believing men. 
And then the nukht inside the house wants to be a one, wants to go everywhere and act like everything. Say, but that's not the role that Allah gave to you and by pretending to be a one you will never reach sainthood. Just like say, I'm going to be, I'm going to pretend to be a one with the shaykh. Every time he asks something I'm going to ask a question and I'll do him. Every time he wants to talk I'll talk also. Every time he wants to do that I'll, you're not going to get anywhere. That's where Sayyidina Khidr says, well this is where me and you we part. So either you're going, to, you're going to be on or I'm going to be on and I, you're going to be off and I'm going to be on. We, we have to have a binary system for this to work. That's why in Surat Al-Kahf it didn't work. Nabi Musa is a big one but he came to reach the Muhammadan haqqaiq in which he had to learn to turn off. So then who became the one in that relationship? Sayyidina Khidr But he warned him, you're not going to stay with me, you don't have, you're not going to have the patience because the information you have is, is less, is little compared to the, the knowledges I'm going to teach you. And the difficulty in the binary code made their relationship to split because he kept trying to turn himself on and saying, I know what you're doing is wrong. He said, look you came to, to receive and I would give but if you're going to turn it around and give well then that's not the relationship Allah sent in this event and we have to part. And it gives now the dalil, if you don't act like a one the relationship is broken. So when people are coming and acting like a one the relationship with their shaykh will break. And that's why then the teachings in the tariqah that turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off, then that person is being trained on how to be off. But when they go to their home they're supposed to be on because they have to guide the home, they have to protect the home, they have to give all of the teachings and isharat for the home. And then the, the nukh says, well I want to do all of these things. Why you have to do it? So, but your path to sainthood was to submit, like I submitted to the shaykh, you submit to me. And as a result of submitting, being patient, oh, I don't really like what you, you do like that, I do like that, I do like that. It's okay, I don't like what the shaykh did either. But I take it. I have many different ideas, I don't think he implements them that way. So it doesn't matter, they didn't ask your opinion. So you took a path in which to be a nukh. Well, you don't think anybody has an opinion here? There's a thousand opinions if you open up the floodgate but you learn to suppress them and follow. Same for home. The tranquility of the home would be in a paradise reality and that's how the women would have reached sainthood. Not by competing to be a one but to be a nukh in which I hear and I'm trying my best to listen but everybody has character flaws so there's going to be aggravation and aggression but it was the path to sainthood. If that's not understood then difficult days are coming. So it doesn't mean anybody's going to listen to us because this is one of 10,000 subjects and all of them haven't been listened to, what's the difference on this one? Not like people are Samina Watana, now it's going to be impossible for us, they don't listen to it anyways. Just a warning that's coming. This is the heavenly system, the heavenly system that brings protection and safety for the home. If they're training to be nukht, they accept the imamiya of the home. And as a result Allah brings rahmah and barakah into the home and a protection. If they want to take the hizb shaitan and the way of satanic empire is, well everybody be a one, all the kids will also be one. Then you feel the presence of shaitan because there'll be no peace in the home. You're yelling, screaming, yelling, screaming, yelling, screaming, yelling, screaming. Why? Because a whole bunch of ones. 
and they don't go together. But because of the last days and because of difficulty Allah begins to open up these oceans of difficulty because the Kingdom of Allah is coming upon the earth. That's why it's like the graves are open. When the Kingdom of Allah is coming upon the earth and you see the alamat and the signs means that the punishment that was in the grave now opens upon the earth. The punishment that was in the grave now opens upon the earth. Means then Allah has many ways to bring a person from one to nothing. Many, many tools that can take the hardness of somebody and Allah crush them into nothingness. In which only Allah describe nafsani, rohani. When presented you're free to choose. When you understand the role, what role do you play? With my shaykh I'm nukht, in my home I'm one. Everyone knows their roles, when I go to work I'm nukht, the employer is one. In my life I begin to learn these roles for safety. Nafsani says, I don't really care what you say, I say, no problem. Nafsani means very difficult testing starts to come to the family and it hit all the family, nobody is free from it because everyone gets purified by that difficulty that comes. Rohani is, no, 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 Ya Rabbi I'm fully on board, don't need any type of major adjustments. I'm trying my best, I'm going to do it, put my head to the ground and make my sujood. And they try their best through the ruhani way. They listen to their salawats, they meditate, give me a strength, burn away my bad character and become very beatific. But to be a renegade then is nafsani. And we pray that by people hearing this and I get myself my always my warning from myself and the teachings always from myself as a reminder that we took a path to be a nukht. And everything exists within the reality of that nukht. When you reach that nukht this is a station of sainthood in which Allah dressed the servant. So when people reach that nukht and they think, oh I don't know if I listen, no. If you reach nukht and you reach that reality whatever you make du'a Allah answers. And you begin to really steer the home, you steer your job, everything. But shaitan puts fear into your head that no, take it and become a one and actual reality is no. Your power at work is in Allah's hands. When you're in nukh, you meditate, contemplate, it's difficult, they're not being right with me, you keep praying for it and tomorrow Allah flip everything upside down if He wants. Allah is the one who makes people to love you or disrespect you, not you, Allah does that. We pray that Allah give us a, a deeper understanding, a greater understanding in the path of being a nukht. And what role do we play and when do we play it? InshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salaamu ala mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.